Wait. Again. Really? Again? All right. Oh, my God. During interface one, the chromatids, the cell replicates its chromatids to perform a chromosome, which is all together by a centromere. I'm gonna go off on him on Monday, like he swears. They are no longer chromatids, they are chromosomes. Oh, there you go. DNA con condensation occurs. This is when the nuclear envelope disappears and the spindle starts to form. The chromosomes are visible as tetrads. The tetras line up in the middle of the equator <laughs> in which the spindles have already been like formed. The, te the tetras pull apart and the chromosomes with two chromatids move towards the spindle fibers, which is this. Chromosomes with two Wait. chromatids decondense and a nuclear envelope forms around them, which means each nucleus is now a haploid, which is half the DNA of a chromosome. Dear Wait, wait. Prophase to the spindles form and the chromosomes condense. During metaphase two, the chromosomes line up along the middle, but no longer homologous pairs. Instead, they are haploids. Notice that the spindle fibers have attached to the centromere. During anaphase two, the spindle fibers attach to the centromere and they pull, but notice on like anaphase one, instead of pulling by a homologous pair, instead they are pulled by half, which is a chromatid. During telophase two, the nuclear membrane forms around each chromatid which are haploids, which are 23 chromosomes, which is half the original, which is half the original cell that has a dipole, which is twice, which is 46 chromosomes. At the end of telophase, all of these are gametes, which is good for sexual reproduction.